y'all, I'm Mighty Cat, and today I will be playing Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Y'all ready? Let's go. This is my Argonian farmer, Hare Hiss Natch scene. And because he's a farmer, he's gonna go get that farm that I got in my fishing video where I bossed Skyrim with a fishing rod. I'm not afraid of no ghost. You coming at me, bro? Cause I'm not afraid of no ghost. Especially no ghost that's stuck. Especially no stuck in a barrel ghost. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, you think I'm scared of you, huh? You think I'm afraid? <laughs> you think I'm scared, huh? You think you think you can get me? No. I will return. Hopefully not. I will take your axe. I may need that later. Torn page. I feel strange, hot and cold all at once. My hand shakes, hard to write, so dizzy. I think I've been poisoned. Seems she got the better of me after all. Orval's journal. Today's the first day of our new lives. I bought a sizable piece of land with a rundown farmhouse for dirt cheap just outside Rorikstead. No one else wanted it, on account of how rocky it is. Too much boulders, the other men said. But Jarnquill and I have strong backs and willing hearts, and we'll get those boulders out and turn this fertile land into a plantation they could only dream of. This will be the perfect place to raise our little wren. Long day. Hand hurts almost too much to write. Farmhouse is repaired and the first plants are in the ground. Feels good. We did it. John Quill kissed me tonight like she did once when we were first married. Her eyes were calling me. Ooh. We harvested our first crops today. It wasn't much, but it was a start. When I watched the sun's rays first break over the horizon on our fields today, I knew what to name this place. Golden Hills Plantation. After Akatosh's glorious light. Soon, it will be an inheritance worthy of our son. Just a bit longer. I know it. My heart is troubled. Rin is growing fast into a strapping young boy. Though he spends much time playing with that wooden sword of his and dreaming of running off to join the Legion. But my dear wife, John Quill, her strangeness worries me. Sometimes she'll disappear for hours at a time and then turn up in the house as if she'd been there all along. I often see her carrying a basket full of strange dark flowers. She won't tell me what they are or where she got them. And last winter, when Rin fell ill with fever, John Quill produced a small black bottle from who knows where and poured who knows what down his throat. Only a few minutes later, and the fever was gone. John Quill refused to tell me what was in the bottle or where she got it. I was so happy that she saved our little boy, of course, but Mara preserved me, but I'm afraid that my wife is a Daedra worshiper or a witch. Rin has been missing for three days, my little boy. I've searched everywhere, but there's no trace of him. Even his favorite toy sword is missing. What if the wolves got him or Bregan snatched him away? John Quill has been watching me. I don't like that look in her eyes. She hasn't cried at all. What kind of mother doesn't cry when her child is missing? What if? I dare not even put the thought on paper. It's unthinkable. I found it. I found John Quill's secret. This is the place she's been disappearing to. The potions, the plants, the books. Such evil and unnatural things I found down there. Divines help me. My wife is a witch. I didn't want to open her foul books. But I had to know. I had to. Deadly Nightshade. That's what the plant is called. The one I saw her sneaking around with. She grows it everywhere. In this hidden place. She must have poisoned my son. I've seen the sneer in her face the laughter in her eyes as she watched me tearing apart the farm and looking for him. She was mocking me. I never felt such rage like this. I'm shaking with it, sweating with it. I know exactly what I've got to do. My son's spirit whispers to me, demanding vengeance. I keep an ax by the door for dealing with wild animals. It will do for dealing with a witch as well. Ooh, oh no, I know what's up. I know where the button is. That's right. Oh. Oh, ow, ow, wait. I got I got a basket attached to me. Okay, all right, chill. Sorry. 
Can you come down here? We can maybe talk? Huh? Okay. Alright, alright. No talking. I hate... I hate Frost. I really hate Frost. Ooh, sorry. I had to do it. I hate Frost. Shouldn't have come at me like that. John Quill's journal. Orville wanted so badly to make a go at being farmers. So here we are now with our own rocky piece of land and a ruined old farmhouse with a leaky roof. It's not what I dreamed of, but we'll make the best of it. At least the soil's good, even if it's full of boulders. I'll manage to get a nice garden going and all the ingredients I need for my potions. The income from that should get us through the first winter, if nothing else. I found a secret room walled off in the basement. It will do nicely for my alchemy lab. I love my husband dearly, but he can be a pig-headed dolt when it comes to gentle magics of the earth. If it weren't for my potions, little Rim would have perished last winter from a fever. Our plantation is doing well enough, but Orville's eyes are getting bigger than his purse. He was talking about purchasing a wagon recently. Like, we don't sometimes struggle to put food on the table. A wagon? Honestly. I see the ugly looks he gives my potions and herbs. But where else are we going to get money for all the things he buys? Next thing you know, he'll be trying to buy another farm. Rin's gone missing. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. His little wooden sword is missing too. Gods preserve me. I hope he hasn't run off. He doesn't realize how dangerous it is out there on the tundra. It's been three days now. My little boy is still gone. I don't like how Orville is looking at me. His eyes are too dark, too still, like a frozen lake. I think I've even heard him mutter something about getting what I deserve. Could he have... No. I dare not even put the thought to paper. He did it, though. He must have. That monster killed my son, and now he looks at me with those hate-filled eyes and a mocking smirk. He despises my alchemical arts so much that he took my son from me to punish me. I've never brewed poison before, but I know how it's done. I know how to bottle death. A few drops in his mead and my child will be avenged. It is done. The gods will damn me, but they will damn him more for the murder of a child. Rin, I'm so sorry. I wish I could have... Wait, I hear some... Oh, that sucks. It's such a sad story. All right, there's one more little detail we have to work out. The saddest one of all. Ma and Pa are fighting again. They're always fighting these days. Ma hates how obsessed Pa is with cows and the price of weed and all that boring stuff. Pa doesn't like Ma's flowers and her bottles of goopy stuff. I don't like the goopy stuff either, but it does make me feel better when I'm sick, so I guess it's okay. I can't wait till I'm old enough to join the Legion and get away from the farm. I've been practicing every day with my sword, and I think I'm good enough to be a captain, or even a general. But Pa doesn't want me to join the Legion, because he says I have to take over the farm when I'm old enough. Ma doesn't want me to go because it's dangerous. That's about the only thing they agree on. I bet if I defeated a bandit or killed a wolf or something, that would show them. Then they would have to let me join the Legion. Pa always says to stay away from the old well. The one toward the tall monument. Out there, by the tree sitting on a rock. Wolves like to hunt out there, he says. So that's where I'll go. I'll kill a wolf and bring home its head. And that'll prove I'm a man and not a baby. I'm tired of listening to Ma and Pa yell at each other anyway. Well... Let's go out to that old well. And wolves. What a surprise. I don't think so, buddy. Look. Search a child skeleton. Poor kid. Um. I'm gonna need the money to start the farm, you know? Return Rin's toy sword to the farm. Okay. Here we go. Your family can rest in peace now. Thanks a lot. Here, take this for all your hard work. Thank you. We own the farm now. Started the farmer's life for me. Plant 10 crops. I'm gonna plant a lot of more tapanella, scaly mushrooms, and creep cluster because that makes the most valuable growable potion in the game. And we're gonna need all that money to help us improve the farm. All right, now that's done. I have to hire a steward. 
I hired Marcuccio last time. Well, I know Marcuccio is the right man for the job. I hired him last time. He was very good. So let's go get him. Hey, Marcuccio, how you doing, buddy? Would you like to my be my steward? Why hire a common soldier to protect you when you can have a master of the Do I have to hire you for you to be my steward? All right, fine. With a master of magic at your side, you'll have nothing to fear. You like this place, huh? Looks familiar, huh? Would you like to be my steward? Divine smile on you, friend. I'm looking to hire a steward. Are you interested? I'd be honored to be your steward. You've built a fine steading here. Thank you. I need you to hire me some farm hands. Can you do that? I'll see to it at once. Thank you. All right, then. So now we have some farm hands to help us work the farm. Hello? Okay. Hmm? Yeah, we're going to build them a little place to sleep, too. Marcuccio, hey. I knew you couldn't stay away. Uh, <laughs> Admit it. You were lost without me. <laughs> I, I need you what to you help uh, furnish uh, the farmhouse. So now I'm going to get them to get our farmhouse some decorations. Of course. All right, let's take a look at the improvements Marcuccio has made to our farmhouse, shall we? Very nice, Marcuccio. Library and a display room. Nice. Oh man, the bedroom looks really good. It's got very farmhouse vibes, you know? Finally, we have our hidden alchemy lab. Oh yeah, looks nice and neat now. so pretty this is where we can make all of our potions that we can sell with the most valuable growable potion in the game okay what do they want us to do next they want us to build an animal pen will do i need firewood and nails i don't got no firewood i gotta go get some i also don't got no nails life on the farm huh Do we have some place where I can make nails? Because or else I'm gonna have to go to a place just to make nails. Let's see, maybe I can make some sort of blacksmith anvil. Oh, I need, <laughs> I need stuff to make an anvil. Let's see what I need. I need quarried stones, hinge and iron fittings. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go somewhere to, to find a blacksmith station to make these things. I shall return. All right, working in the middle of the night. All right, now I can make an animal pen. Talk to Marcuccio about buying livestock. Well, Marcuccio is probably asleep. It's like the middle of the night. Well, this is where my workers are sleeping right now. Marcuccio, hey, sorry to wake you, buddy, but um, I was hoping you'd get me some livestock. Divine smile on you, friend. Could you purchase me some livestock, please? Certainly. What did you have in mind? Uh, I was thinking like a cow. I'll keep an eye. Thank you. Is there anything else you need? Yeah, I was thinking like uh. Certainly. What I would like some goats, you know. I'll see to it at once. Thank you. Is there anything else you need? Yeah, I would like um. Certainly. What did you like have in mind? Like some chickens, maybe? Yeah. I'll see to it at once. Thank you. Is there anything else you need? No, I'm good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, you don't believe me? I'm good. <laughs> I want to go see my animals. Oh, look. Oh. Oh, so cute. Oh, hello. Oh, you are cute. I can talk to you. Collect milk. I'll just talk to him for now. Hi. Collect milk right away. Where are my other animals? Oh, there are my chickens. Oh, there's my cow. Look at him. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, hey. You're so cute. I love you so much. Okay, just walk away from me then. That's fine. Hey, babies. 
What are y'all up to? Y'all up to laying some eggs? Yeah? How are you doing? Hey. Hello. Y'all are cute. Y'all are very cute. Thank you for laying eggs for me. I appreciate it. Oh, hi. You laying one right now? <laughs> Too cute. I love them so much. Okay, what's my next task as a farmer? Wait a few days for the plantation to start making money. Well, I mean, we're, we've been making money. What you talking about? I guess I'll go to sleep for 24 hours. Oh, talk to Mercutio to collect the day's profits. Okay. Mercutio. I know his name's Mercurio, but y'all are not going to get me to say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I try and sometimes I do not try. Oh my goodness. Look at, look at how Mercutio sleeps. Oh my, that is, <laughs> that is a scary way to sleep, pal. Look at how he sleeps. Oh my gosh. Hey. Oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 hey! Oh my god! <laughs> that, was so, that was so terrifying! <laughs> my heart! Oh my god! Oh, oh, hi! Um, I'm here to collect the profits, please. Very good, sir. <laughs> Thank you. All right, collect All the right, harvested then. produce from the pantry. All right, that's all my milk and everything. My milk of machinesia. No, it's it's milk. It's it's cow and goat milk. It's, it's just regular milk. You can also make other things. Like you can have a beehive, a blacksmithing workshop, exterior decoration, a farmhand bunkhouse, which I definitely need, a stable, and a windmill. Let's build the ones we can build. Definitely need this first. There we go. Look, now we have a windmill, a stable so we can have horses. Speaking of, you can ask your steward to get you a horse. Hello. Hey. Well, look what the horker dragged. <laughs> Still wandering all over Skyrim and causing trouble. Actually, I've been here like all day. Can you buy me a horse? Oh, good. There's one I've had my eye on. I'll see if it's still for sale. Thank you. Oh, look, my horse. Oh, he's so cute. Woo. I'm gonna go take him to meet the cow. Y'all can talk. Oh, they're so cute. Oh. oh, they're just so cute together. I love them so much. All right, so if we want to make a bunkhouse, we're going to need firewood, nails, hinge, lock, quarry stone, and straw. So we need a lock. Okay, let's make a lock. There we go. Wouldn't want bandits coming in and, and getting you all, I knew you couldn't huh? stay away. Admit it, you were lost without me. <laughs> sure, Mercutio. Oh, we can put cool things out in the garden, too. All right, let's make them a bunkhouse. There we go. All right, let's go take a look at the bunkhouse. I've actually never seen the bunkhouse before. This is the first time I built it. Oh, wow, it's nice. Ooh. Now they have a place to sleep. And so that's it. Now you can be a farmer.
If you're interested, please check out my fisherman build where I boss Skyrim with a fishing rod. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked the video, don't be afraid to like the video. Bye, y'all.